Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. I want to do this video about hyper threading. Now, I used to be an Intel i5 3570K owner. That's a standard quad core with no hyper threading. For those who aren't familiar with hy what hyper threading is, it's basically each core is seen as two cores on your on your computer. So, look at it this way: one core can handle one thread of instructions sent by your processor per clock cycle. If you have hyper threading it can handle two threads of instructions sent by the CPU by per clock cycle. So essentially the computer sees four cores instead of two if you if you had a dual core with hyper threading. Now in my case my Intel 3770 is a quad core and has hyper threading so my computer sees it as eight CPUs instead of four. Now with that out of the way is I want to talk about the benefits of hyper threading. Um, most people will argue that hyper threading doesn't necessarily help too much when it comes to gaming, but it does help um, considerably with applications like video rendering. And I've been asked since I've upgraded from my i5 just how much of a performance increase have you seen? and to be perfectly honest I couldn't give you a very accurate answer because I haven't actually run a test but today I want to get around to doing that and I want to be sharing you sharing the results with you guys okay so let's get down to business I'm gonna start off with the video rendering test and I'm gonna open my video rendering software which is Cyberlink PowerDirector 12 I'm gonna drop one of my recent projects into the timeline and just basically re-render it and I'll just render that at 1080p I'll make sure I'll allow in this section here you'll see a preview of the project as it's getting built I'll also leave up a timer so you can see just how fast uh, the test completes compared to the other tests with hyper disabled obviously for the purposes of you guys I'm gonna speed this up a little bit but you can tell just how fast it's going by the timer I'm gonna leave visible so you'll definitely see how fast um, one completes before the other <laughs> 
clearly see hyper-threading enabled clearly making a, a difference compared to with it having it disabled and it's still going so the difference between the two times is around, around about just a minute flat so this was approximately a 10 minute video rendered at 1080p at 30 frames per second and I know you're thinking yeah one minute that's not a big deal but if you're someone who works on larger projects and you're building something like a movie length say your basic movie is an hour and a half then you're looking at between nine minutes um, difference in rendering times and to someone that might be a might be a big deal so it's definitely something to consider and it's a it's a good start it shows that hyper threading really does work and it really does make a difference now there's many people out there that would argue hyper threading doesn't really make a big deal when it comes to gaming so I'm gonna run a very highly threaded game that makes use of multiple cores pretty well and that's crisis free and uh, let's see if uh, hyper threading gives a boost in performance or it doesn't really show any noticeable improvement so I have crisis free running now I'm going to run through the in-game settings that I use for this comparison I use a resolution of 1920 by 1200 with anti-aliasing I use SMAA medium to TX texture resolution was set at very high and system specification was set at very high with advanced graphics everything was on very high anastropic filtering was left at 16 times and lens flares was enabled So we're just going to have a bit more of an in-depth look at the comparison. I'm going to pause it here. Now if you look at the difference between the frames per second, there's almost a 10 frames per second difference here. So hyper-threading certainly does help with performance. And another thing I want to note is if you look at the CPU load with hyper-threading disabled, it's in the very high 90s. And that's not a good thing because it essentially it's going to end up bottlenecking your graphics card so if you look at the difference between the CPU load with hyperthreading enabled it's in the high 80s but it's still definitely safe and it's still definitely delivering a maximum performance to your graphics card and as you can see with the GPU load one's in the high 90s one's in the low 90s and that's evident as well with the frames per second and if I continue and I pause it here you can see CPU loads drop down into the 80s and the CPU load is in the high 90s so again a slight bit of bottleneck going on here with hyperthreading enabled everything's pretty much level and it's um, the balance of the workloads being shared a lot more efficiently because of hyperthreading and the uh, GPU loads in the high 90s so uh, the GTX 980 here is not getting bottlenecked and you can see that in the performance difference I'll continue now 
as you can see again with Crisis 3 being a very highly threaded game which uses multiple cores really really well it's starting to pay off to have a bit more CPU headroom so as you can see it's a clear 9 to 10 frames per second difference between the two cards they're both at the same clock speed they're both at the same point of the game and hyper threading definitely making a difference here the CPU load even with 8 threads it's very very high 80s but still enough to keep the graphics card at, um, at pretty much optimal use as you can see the GP load here is down into the low 80s so hyper threading certainly makes the difference and it certainly helps with minimum frames as well if I pause it here it's drop down into the 50 frames per second range and you know everyone knows that 60 frames is that magical number so if you can help it you'd want to stay above 60 frames per second and obviously when your GPU is becoming bottlenecked which you can see here with the high CPU usage it's not a good thing so ultimately hyper threading does help and it does boost performance providing that the game uses multiple threads very very well Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.